Mom hears strange noises in girl's bedroom, look what she found inside. This wasn't a creepy, dilapidated cabin in the middle of nowhere that was built on a long-forgotten burial site. It was a suburban duplex 30 miles from Chicago. So, when the family heard another wave of strange noises and eerie music, they weren't sure if they should call the cops or a priest. Tanya Smith pulled out another tray of blueberry muffins with a wide grin. Thank God this batch didn't burn. The Sunday afternoon baking ritual was important to her. It was a chance for her husband, Derek, and her daughter Brianna to spend quality time together without any electronics. That day, however, her daughter was acting strange. The normally chipper girl looked like she was going to fall asleep in the mixing bowl. When Tanya asked, what's wrong, ladybug? The seven-year-old groggily lifted her head and gave an answer that made both her and her husband do a neck-breaking double-take. Voices in your bedroom? Yes, kids could have wild imaginations, but when the sleepless nights turned into a week of ghosts in the walls Tanya knew it was time to take things seriously. As she sat in the stillness of the pink and white room, she waited to hear what her daughter swore, wasn't a lie or a cry for attention. Nothing. Just normal suburban noises. Maybe there was a rat in the walls. But what was whispering? The next step was to sleep in the bedroom while her daughter got a break by resting on the downstairs sofa. Finally, as the clock clicked over to 2 a.m., something finally happened. It started slow and soft. Voices mingled in a pleasant but eerie tune. A man's voice rose above the melody. The words grew strong and intimidating. Tanya couldn't believe what she was hearing. No wonder her daughter was terrified. She pulled the bed away and saw something that wasn't there before. Jagged holes stuck out of the drywall near the baseboard. The words flowed out clearer and stronger from the dusty gaps. When she dragged her husband out of bed to see her discovery, his eyes turned huge, then furious. He stormed down to the basement and returned with a hammer. It didn't matter if the sun wasn't up yet, the neighbors were going to hear loud bangs. As chunks of drywall fell away and the little hole turns to a gaping cavity, Tanya couldn't believe her eyes. She felt the world spin and had to sit down before she collapsed. She grabbed her phone and called the police. A week ago, when they first heard about the voices, Tanya and her husband had made plenty of exorcism jokes. But now, a priest would really have to come because it looked like her husband was going to kill someone. When the cops arrived, they inspected the hole and couldn't believe it either. There, buried in the wall, was a speaker. The dusty cube sat in a jagged hole, held in place with duct tape. The voices and tunes that Brianna had been hearing was a religious radio channel. The scary words were sermons about hell and sinners condemned to eternal torture. But why was, is pointed towards their daughter's bedroom. Tanya and her husband sat at the kitchen table, gripping their cups of now cold coffee. They didn't know their neighbor that well, but it was impossible to imagine a little old lady would do something so horrible. The answer the cops returned with made Tanya want to wring someone's neck. It turned out the old woman had been asking her son to set up her speakers for ages. But since he never got around to it, the old woman had taken things into her own hands and decided to do her own installation. Why didn't the Smith family hear any of the construction work? The old woman had spent hours sipping tea and leisurely scraping away a hole with a kitchen knife. The holes on their side of the duplex had also been slowly gouged away. The elderly woman had planned on putting up a shelf to hold her speaker. When the cops explained what she had done, the answer was unbelievable. Oh, well I'm happy I could share my station with their little girl. Kids need religious more than ever these days. But I can't lend them some of my tape to cover the holes. So sorry. It was clear the grandma wasn't playing with a full deck of cards. Tanya's husband knew what had to be done. He pulled his tools out and set up the speaker for the old woman himself, on the other side of the house. He also told her to call if there were any other fixes or odd jobs he could help with. Tanya also managed to get the son's number and give him an earful. At least their daughter could sleep in her room again, and there were no such things as ghosts.